selling the omena. It is very difficult to me to get a fish from the lake because we have what we call sex for fish. For you to get a fish there without what we call jaboya, you can't get a fish. So you have to sell your body to get a fish. That is the challenge, big challenge there. I've cut out the boya because now I have my own cage there. In two weeks, I will get my fish without the boy. <laughs> we believe in empowering mostly women and young girls because we feel that women are um, at a disadvantage compared to men, especially in aquaculture. So we've been very deliberate in empowering women in coming into aquaculture business uh, so that they can be um, owners. Um, our organization is women founded and women led. The founder is um, Angela and uh, most of the workers are actually women. We are targeting to reach out to about 600 women um uh in the next three years so we've started with a group of about 300 this year we are about uh empowering 300 women just to get into aquaculture supporting them and you know capacity building them so that they can be able to be uh, to, to to exercise good uh, aquaculture practices it has been tradition that men are the fishermen now here we are, we are saying women are now becoming the fishermen. So it's a culture that we are trying to get people to understand and accept that women can also be fishermen, but it hasn't been easy. But over time we are getting the acceptance and we are getting people realizing that yes, the women can also be fisher, fisher women. When you empower a woman, you have empowered a community because they will reach out to their families, they will reach out to their extended families and you know, help them eradicate poverty. One of the motivation that we had as an organization to start um, cage farming is because of the culture we call Jaboya, where women have to trade, give sexual favors to get allocation for fish so that they get allocation to buy. They will still uh, have to give sexual favors and then still pay for the fish. It was not for free. So that culture has slowly been going down because uh, now we have a lot of cage farmers around who are able to give the, the women the fish for nothing else other than the purchasing power. We have uh, an app that is uh, currently under development. Um, this app, has three parts. It has the part for uh, smart farming. We use the app and then we have a sensor that would be attached to, to the cage and then it gives information data that helps the farmer check the temperature and the oxygen levels of the water. That gives uh, an indication on how much feeds should be given to the fish. Uh, feeds are 70% of the cost of inputs in fish farming. So if you can manage the feeds correctly, then you'd be in a good position. So we use that data-led smart tool to, to do good farming practices. And then it also connects the fish farmers to input suppliers like uh, for nets and feeds.